Hi, I'm here in my kitchen now because I would like to show you a great demo for mechanical cleaning. And what I'm going to use to do that is I'm going to use Norix's cutting board, which I absolutely love. It's made of rice husks and not plastic. And it's great, got a great ceiling pad so it doesn't move around on the bottom. And then I've got raw chicken. Yuck. And then I've got two what are called protein testers. And I'm gonna tell you what they do. They are a rapid protein food residue test. And what they do is, is a quick, easy way to accurately monitor the cleanliness of food equipment surfaces to help ensure food safety and product quality. And they use these a lot in commercial kitchens. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the raw chicken and I'm going to rub it across my board. We're going to test it with one of the protein testers. Then I will take my Enviro, Norex Enviro cloth. I will rub it across the surface and see if we can remove everything bad from the surface. And then we will test it again with another uh, protein tester to see if it has removed all of it. So we will start, first of all, with the raw chicken that I will rub across my cutting board. All right, close. And then I will take one of my protein testers. Now, the thing is, if it turns green, it means that the surface is clean. If it turns purple, it means that there is protein on the surface. And so I will rub it across my surface. I will put it into the reservoir. I will release the regent. And then we will see what happens in just a couple of seconds. And as you can see, it has turned purple very quickly. So obviously there's chicken juice on the cutting board. So I've got my in viral cloth and I have folded it into force because that way it gives me eight clean sides from to work from. So I will use the side where the label is across. And I will wipe up the surface and then I will lay it with the dirt up uh, on top there. Then I'll take my second protein tester and again, I will rub it across the surface really well to see if that Enviro cloth has left anything on the surface. Then we will take, it will put it in the tester, we'll release the region, we'll give it a couple of minutes and see what happens to it. And as you can see, it picked everything up off that cutting board and it is green. So you just want to compare it against the two. Now, I've got one more test because it is so good to know if when you're wiping up your counters, are you just pushing all that chicken juice around and infecting, you know, all your surfaces with that chicken juice or does that cloth hold all that chicken juice in. And so I'll take the same side with the label and I will rub it across the surface of my cutting board. Like so. I will take the protein tester that turned green and I will rub it on the surface of the cutting board, stick it back into my tester and we will give it a couple of minutes and we will see what happens. Okay, and as you can see, it stayed very green. That means that cloth holds in that dirt, debris, and bacteria until you take the cloth over to the sink, run it under warm running water, and release that chicken juice from it by vigorously rubbing it against itself. Now, just so you know that this green one will turn purple, I will take my chicken 
Oops, I lost my chicken. Fell out of my bag. <laughs> Anyways, I'll rub it on the chicken. We will then show you that it turns. Oops, I'm supposed to put it in the solution. There we go. And as you can see, it turns purple very quickly. Thanks for joining me.